In this video, we will learn to memorize multiplication facts. The success criteria for this lesson is by the end of it, you can state the multiplication facts in times table of 2 to 10 within 3 seconds with accuracy. So with that goal in mind, let's start our lesson. Before we go into looking at the strategies, let's answer this question, why am I asking you to memorize it now since you are already in P4 or P5 and multiplication is something that you have learned in P2 or P3. So I realize that some of you have been using skip counting when you have to multiply a number. For example, if you need to multiply a number involving a factor of 6, you will go by 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So as you skip count, you may need to use your finger and you will be able to remember 6 times what equal to 30. So for some of you who can't remember this well, you are even still doing repeated addition. So for example, you may go by 6, the next number is 6 plus 6, which is 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 6, 24, 24 plus 6, 30. So the problem with this is that when you skip count, you may miss a count. So you may go 6, 12, 24, 30, 36, and you miss a count entirely. You may also make careless mistakes when you are adding. So you may not be getting the number accurately. And worst of all, you can't do division when you are using either of these methods because when I'm asking you 42 divided by 6, you just can't remember which number because you don't memorize them in that order. So, what are the strategies to help you master these skills? There are a few steps you need to follow and you need to do it repeatedly. So first of all, you need to see and read the times table with me. Of course, you do it with me the first time and subsequently you can do it on your own. So the sight of the number when you see it with your eyes and the sound of the number when you read out loud, these two add together will actually help you commit these facts to your long-term memory. And the next thing, you need to actually write the times table on your math notebook. Be sure to write it neatly so that you can read your own handwriting without an error. And you will have the desire to go back and revise because your work is neat. Next, you will want to quiz yourself. You can do it through the Kubits quiz or the online flashcard which I gave you earlier on. So if you do these three steps repeatedly, you have no problem of committing this to your memory and learn your time table by heart. So before we start, let's give yourself a shout out and tell yourself you can do it and firmly believe in that. So with that, let's start. How would you read this? Would you read this as 1 times 2 is 2? Yes, nothing is wrong with that. But that is very long and tedious and you get tired after a while. So I recommend you read it this way. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 2, 6, 4, 2, 8, 5, 2, 10, 6, 2, 12, 7, 2, 14, 8, 2, 16. 9 to 18, 10 to 20. When you look at the number, using your eyes, you see it, you read it out loud, you hear it, 
and you simplify the way you read it so you can really focus on the numbers itself, it actually helps to commit these facts into your brain. Next, you practice writing it down and as you use your hand, that's your uh, motor skills, it will actually help to further commit it deeper into your long-term memory so you can remember it better. But of course, when you do this too, you are trying to remember the facts. But how do you know if you have memorized it or not? Then you have to quiz yourself. So you, you can ask yourself randomly 8 times 2. Without looking at the times table, I can tell myself 16. Straight away. That's great. You can also be using the online source like Kubit's online flashcard to do so. So which are the times table that you need to memorize? You need to basically remember all the times table. So the first question you ask yourself is that which are the times table that you have to use skip counting or repeated addition? You can't remember the facts just by themselves. Those are the ones you should focus on. And the order you should make sure that you can get it right is to make sure you remember two times table first. That's the simplest to remember followed by the five times table, followed by the 10 times table, and then the three, and then the four. So you realize these were the times table you learned in primary two. Then the six times table, seven, eight, and nine, other ones you learn in primary three. These numbers are slightly bigger and for some students, it's harder for them to remember this. So regardless which one, if you give it enough practice in terms of reading it, seeing it, writing it down, and quizzing yourself, you will be able to master it. So with that, I really hope you do this practice, take it seriously, and I look forward to see you after school reopen and I can see all of you able to memorize the times table so well. Okay, thanks. Bye.